Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see how to set up Git in Azure Data Factory. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Under our uh, channel, we have various playlists. I request you to go through all these playlists. It will be helpful for you. These are the important consideration for the Git setup. First one, setting up Git only for the dev environment is enough. You need not to do for UAT and prod. For moving the code from dev to UAT and prod, we'll be using CI/CD setup. In next video, I'll be explaining about CI/CD setup as well. And the Microsoft documentation says that ADF is not completely optimized for collaboration and version control, which means some of the option you may miss such as cherry pick and all. Now let us see the basic concepts in ADF Git setup. So primarily we'll be having uh, two branches, main and ADF publish. Main branch is what the collaboration branch, which means where we'll be working and we will be pushing our changes. And ADF publish branch is specific to release, which means it will have ARM templates, which will be used for releasing into other environment. And suppose in case if you are planning to create some new branch, you will create on top of main branch. After that, you will make your changes in the future branch. And as usual, you will raise a pull request in order to merge your changes to main branch. So this is how a uh, git setup will work. Just remember that ADF publish branch is specific to ARM template which we'll be using in CI CD setup in order to release uh, the changes into the other environment uh, ADF. Let us create a DevOps account for our Git repository. If you already have one uh, DevOps account or Git repository, you can make use of it. So just search for Azure DevOps and this is a link you need to get into it. I will be providing the URL as well in the description. And uh, here if you see, there will be option to start free. Just click on it. Since I have already logged into my Microsoft account, it automatically signed in. If you don't have a Microsoft account, just create one and provide the user ID and password over here. And before clicking on continue, just remember that there is an option in order to switch directory. So if you click on this option, it will show the list of directory available uh, to you. In case if your organization is having some uh, uh, active directory, it will show up over here. You need to select the directory where your subscription is added so that it will be easy for us to sign into our ADF and connect with Git. Even in case if you have uh, uh, other Git accounts or other active directory, you can also uh, sign in, shouldn't be an issue. But for learning purpose alone, please make sure that you are creating your DevOps account under the same active directory where you are having your Azure subscription. In Azure portal, just click on switch directory. And here you will find able to find the directory where your subscription is there, meaning like in which directory where ADF is there. So for me, it is in default directory. So for that purpose, I have selected default directory over here and uh, click on continue. And here you need to provide the organization name. The organization uh, names forms the basic URL of your DevOps account. So you can just provide it over here. And the next item is uh, where you want your project to be hosted. So select a region closer to you. That's it. Under an organization, you can create multiple projects. So in order to create a project, this is the option. You'll provide a project name and description if you prefer. And visibility, you have two options. Either you want to make your project public or private. So as of now, select with private. And under advanced, here you will find how you want your Azure boards to be uh, shown. So you can select any option, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it doesn't uh, make any changes with respect to Git. It is just for Azure DevOps boards. And yeah, everything looks good. Now let us proceed to create our project. Just click on create project. The project is created. Just click on this project. So this is where uh, you will be navigated under overview section and if you scroll down to repos so this is where we are going to work by default while creating the project itself it will create a repository with the project name and if you want you can create a new repository as well let us cross check whether everything got created under our default directory just click on switch directory and here you will find current directory as default directory so we have created properly under default directory only shouldn't be issue 
since all looks good now let us proceed to create a new repository so that we can use it in our uh, adf in order to create a new repository just click on this and click on new repository so for new repository just provide the name over here i am providing a crypto copy repos and just click on create yeah it got created with a single branch which is a uh, main now let us switch to azure data factory this azure data factory i have created from our last video i will be providing the url in the description as well so under adf under manage you will find git configuration you can configure git while creating adf as well and here as well you have two option you can do it either way just click on this configure button it will show you to select the repository type here you will have two option github and azure devops kit so select azure devops kit if you have cross tenant you can make use of this checkbox my active directory is showing up here the default active directory so i am clicking on continue and under this you will have two options select repository and use repository link for use repository link you can navigate to azure devops and you can copy the git url from here but for now we are going to select select repository so under the drop down you can you will find the organization over here so this is the organization name and select the project name as well so this is the project name adf cicd project and repository we have created a new repository just select that and here you will have a option to select the collaboration branch so select main as the collaboration branch where you will be making the changes so you and your teammates will be making the changes in main and as i said early adf publish branch will have arm templates which will be used for release purpose suppose in case if you have already some pipelines or implementation inside azure data factory and you are connecting git now so you want to import the existing resources to the repository right in that case just click on this uh, check box or your azure data factory is a fresh one and you don't have any implementation you can ignore that check box and next option is import resource into the branch so make sure you select main branch so that you will import all the resources into main branch and once done click on apply it will take some time in order to publish all the changes and here you will have two option for setting the working branch you have already selected collaboration branches main there is no doubt in it but in case if you want to create a new branch on top of main branch and you want to make some changes which means your future branch so in case if you want you can create it from here but for us we are going to do with the main branch so i'm going to select use existing with uh, main branch and i'm going to click on save yeah done so that's it now click on publish now to move all your changes over there so just click on okay yeah got completed now in azure devops portal if you refresh we will have all the items over here yeah it is there so currently i am in main branch so this is the branch and here you will find whatever the data set you have created and the pipelines and the linked service so everything you will be having over here under adf publish branch you will find arm template and arm template for parameters these two are the file which will be using in our ci cd setup in next video i'm going to show that in case if you want to create a new future branch you can do from azure data factory itself you need not to come to azure devops and do so in order to create a new branch navigate to your adf and under this drop down you will find create a new branch so you can make your new changes in the new branch and you can create a pull request once you complete your pull request it will be merged into the main branch and that's it on this video if you find my video helpful please subscribe your subscription will motivate us to produce more video in better quality i started publishing courses in udemy as well as of now i have posted only one course which is a practice test for az204 certification do expect more uh, courses in upcoming days thank you bye bye